Hi, this is Christina from Mashable, and I'm going to walk you through Chrome OS, uh, at least the developer version that's available right now. I'm running this in a virtual machine on my Mac, so the performance is kind of slow. I imagine it might be a little bit faster if it will run natively on um, a machine, but I don't really want to go through the trouble of doing that right now. Right now, the only way to get Chromium to run is, is you need to compile the kernel and um, create the image. And then, in my case, I then created a, a virtual machine image so that I could run it on my Mac and so I could, I could screencast it and show it to you. So it's, it's not really the easiest process, but I went ahead and did all that so that I could kind of walk you guys through um, what's available right now. So you start out and you want to log in with your Google account information. And that's... Um, That's what they're, you know, kind of offering for uh, for you right now. You just get this this blank login screen, and okay, saying I'm not connected to a network. Try that again. Okay, so you sign in, so you sign in to Chrome OS, and um, if you click on the home button, um, you'll go ahead and, and be kind of given I guess your main Google stuff, but this I mean it looks very much like Chrome for Windows or Linux or, or, or Mac if, if you compile it that way. Clicking on your tabs will take you to different things. For instance, I can click on news, and it'll take me to you know the news page, and I can click on Gmail, and it'll open up my mail, and I can click on my calendar, and it'll take me to my Google Calendar. If I can click on documents, um, it'll load up my Google Docs. This little button right here, this little Chrome icon, this actually, I think this is what's going to end up being the application launcher, although I'm not really sure because um, so much of this is so beta and this isn't due to be out for you know another year, but all that really happens right now, is, and this is taking a while to load, is it'll come up and say, okay, you can log in with the Google account. Um, so you've got all of your search stuff. The size of the screen is limited right now to 640 by 480. Um, otherwise, I, I would have this bigger for you guys to be able to see. But it does go ahead and, and optimize at least all the Google stuff to that smaller size, which is which is pretty nice. Um, if I were to go to a site like Mashable, for instance, Mashable is not going to fit in. Um, it won't scale down automatically. So most of the sites that you're going to go to on the web are going to be bigger than 640 by 480 because that has long uh, ceased to be a standard screen size that most websites support, unless they have fluid layouts or something. But I imagine that that's the sort of thing that can be changed um, if you're a developer, and I'm, I'm sure that the future you know, versions of, of this stuff will, will make it um, easier to support larger sizes too. Um, let me see if I can go to Google Docs. Okay. The whole system is kind of slow, and I think it's just because um, the system is really, really new, and obviously this hasn't been optimized for any sort of hardware. I mean, this is just running in a virtual machine. And I put a lot of RAM dedicated to it, and I've also given it even you know two full processing cores, but that still doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be running so quickly, especially right now. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can pull up this post because I'd like to be able to, to show you guys what video looks like in the browser. Ah, okay, here's our Google Docs. So, um, I can look at this presentation right here. This was something I made a long time ago, and you can view your presentations. Um, you can view... Um, one bad thing about this is even though this is this works well is that the the overlay of the username gets in the way in some of the instances of uh, the menu bar stuff and I'm sure that that's something that 
will be fixed in future versions. Um, but here's my um, Google Reader stuff. And Google Reader is not actually completely optimized. It doesn't look like the screen size, but I can minimize this um, and maximize. So that works pretty well. Um, So you can look at your, your, your docs and, and you can look at all of your, your Google stuff. Um, and then of course, we'll point up a post right here. Um, obviously Flash is working because we've got Ustream um, showing up in this Victoria's Secret post from Ben. It's lovely Heidi Klum. Um, sorry about the, the scrolling stuff. Scrolling is, is uh, pretty slow on this. Um, waiting for this now. Um, so if you click on this button, this I think is what's going to be the application launcher, but I'm not really sure. Right now they want you to log in with a google.com account, which I don't have, so I can't really do anything for. Um, Okay, this has opened up the Victoria's Secret fashion show, um, and you can see how this site is, is displaying content, and um, it's not loading that well. Um, it's hard for me to show off any sort of multimedia stuff in this browser, but that's okay. Um, if you want to change the theme, because they do have themes, you can go to the home page and um, you can go to settings. Um, those are your different account settings, but there are different uh, Chromium themes that are available. You can create application shortcuts um, for create application shortcuts on the following places in the desktop or in the application menu and um, go to your Google Chrome themes. You can see all of your different settings here. You've got a bookmark manager, you've got downloads, um, you've got extensions. Um, some different things that you can do. So this is it. I mean, basically right now all it is is a glorified version of the Chrome browser, but it has a lot of potential to do a lot of bigger things. Um, and and we'll, we'll continue looking at it, but this is Chromium so far. So if you don't feel like compiling the OS to, you know, just get this experience, um, I hope that that was, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you and continue reading Mashable.